Hello, hello. All right, back at it with another Varsity and JV stream. Right now we're having a Varsity match between Brett and a Sonic player. Yep, and we are going up against Marion High School. Sorry if that's not the right pronunciation. I didn't make it sure. Really nice up smash by Brett. Oh, you gotta remember with this guy, he's got all those phantoms. Really gonna be a hassle for the Sonic player. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard for him to approach. The Sonic does have a lot of his spin dash attacks. Oh, that's gonna. That was a big opportunity for Zelda there. But oh, yeah. Sonic made it back. Right. Sonic in advantage stage for that neutral is gonna keep him off. Oh, yeah. You've always gotta be wary of that. Yep, there it is again. Probably like one of Zelda, if not Zelda's best move. If oh, yeah. you whiff a move as Zelda and you use that, there's just a chance you won't get hit. Yeah. Absolutely. The, uh, the thing here with this uh, Sonic player, he's uh, gonna be a little, he's gonna be a little bit too uh, aggressive here. Yeah, he needs to sit back more. But unfortunately, he doesn't have any reflectors, so if he sits back, he's just gonna zone him out with projectiles. That's true. I think overall, right now, that Zelda has a better chance here. But I could, I can say Sonic has beaten Zelda's before. Yeah, and he, he's got true combos that can be like 50 off of spin dash. But approaching with spin dash. Uh, Ooh, yeah, good was, side smash. Yeah, good F tilt. Uh, I always forget that Zelda F tilt is a kill move. I completely forget it exists because everyone just uses side smash. Wow. Alright, nice off smash. Just trying to chip away, get some damage. Oh, yeah. Those side dashes from Zelda, the multi hit, really gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, a lot of those dash attacks are just coming out. Nice little flurry. Yeah, yeah he's just keeping them off. Zelda, Zelda's just like removing Sonic's ability to approach. Alright, nice dash attack though. I think the main key against beating Zelda is catching her airborne. Because she's not nearly as strong in the air as she is on the ground. She's still yeah. really strong in the air, but it's just better chances. Yeah, that's probably going to be one of Zelda's biggest. Yeah, yeah. And oh. the back air. I'm going to end it there. I don't, so even, know if that, I don't wow. even know if that was a fair or a back air. They're about the same, but that was a good sweet spot. Oh, absolutely. That was some good That was some good ranging by Brett, yeah. I'd say. Yep, and we're going to hop on over to Junior Varsity. we got Piranha Plant versus the Blue I don't think that's an actual match. I was confused, my bad. <laughs> Alright, well they're going to go through the banning process. Oh so boy. We'll go ahead and just go over to this one blue screen. I honestly would say that, that was that was a that was a pretty good match for Zelda. Yeah, Zelda's definitely like putting Sonic on some like tight ropes here and he's got to um he's probably gonna have to switch out because I don't think Sonic's gonna work very well. Yeah, no, I would, I, I, I definitely, I definitely could see Sonic taking, taking a win against Zelda, but the biggest problem is the lack of reflectors. Yeah, it, any character with a reflector does good against Zelda. It's that simple. But yeah. then again, even if you have a reflector, Zelda has her own reflector that can reflect the reflected thing. Yeah, that's the neutral beat comes out so fast, uh, yeah. covers so much distance. It's Ridiculous. Especially like on the internet when people can't react to it, it's just that much better. It's an amazing tool. Yeah. And yeah. Looks like they're still going through the process and everything. Um, but yeah, very, very impressive, like, spacing from... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, right now, I, I'm going to go on mute for, like, 30 seconds. Just get to one second. You need to get my... Corona Flash! Ooh. It looks like right now they're trying to set the arena back up. We should be back short. Oh, he was just switching his controls. Never mind. Okay. Alright, I am back and it looks like we're going to lock in on Bowser. Ooh. Is it is this a Oh that was that was the end of round two. Really? Yeah, that wasn't even game one, that was game two. So this is a oh, whole wow. other two people. It looks like oh it looks like the other it looks like um it's already one one. Wow. 
No, it, it's the game's over. The game's over? Oh! Yeah, it was 2-0 and Zelda's win, I think. Pretty sure we were a bit early, but... I were a bit late, not early. Oh, wow. Well. So, yeah, looks like um, we got Bowser, and uh, I've yet to know who they're picking, so it'll be a fun surprise to see who they're going to use to counter against Bowser. I wonder. It's going to be a real tough match for anyone with, with that tough guy mechanic, I'd say. A really broken mechanic, I'd say. Maybe... Maybe gonna help him out a lot here. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. The idle armor. The the idle am. The idle armor. God, I can't speak. The idle armor, as well as just the fact that he gets super armor on some of his smash attacks and his other moves. Like his up smash has armor, so he can catch landing aerials and stuff. He's really good. Plus, you got the Wi-Fi factor on it. Bowser's a really, really strong pick. Dude, Ooh, oh, a Yoshi! But, but on the topic wow. of armor, Yoshi's got the unique mechanic of having armor on his double jump. That's true. Which is um, an interesting mechanic, but he can jump out of combos. That's sure. I think that's really going to help Yoshi a lot here with the with the aerials Bowser can do yeah, too. Yeah, Bowser's got such like, despite being such a huge character, his aerials are so quick and deal so much damage. Yeah. See the thing. The thing with Bowser, you would assume since he's the heaviest character in the game. He would be like slow, but he's honestly like up there with some of the more speedy characters. Oh yeah, he like, is. Uh, I'm pretty sure the heaviest character in this game, but also one of the fastest heavies. Yeah, he's just all around a really great pick. Only real downside is his recovery, but it may not be good off stage, but it's good on stage as an out of shield option. And as you saw, he went for the up B there, but Yoshi got the punish. It's true. And Yoshi is definitely trying to zone him out with these up Bs. Yeah. But so far it's not working. Oh, nice dodge from the uh, down smash. But yeah, there's that up out of shield. It's Bowser classic. And the up there air. goes David with the up, up, up air to kill. Wow. Now one thing that Brett does have to watch out for though David. is the fact that um, David. David. Wait. Where's the Wait. <laughs> we, we didn't get names. I just looked over there. We didn't get names, I just looked behind us. Oh. Alright. So, David, one thing that he's got to watch out for um, is... Oh my gosh, that killed. Okay. Wow. Again, yeah, Rage. Yeah, David, I've I've played David before. One of the best battles I've ever played before. I have... He's a really good uh, player in general. Yeah, I played against him um, during, like, qualifiers for different brackets. Like, oh, yeah, me, varsity, me too. JV, all that. Yeah. And, yeah, I got messed up by him. Um... I made the foolish mistake of trying to ditto him, but, oh. but man, um, Yoshi already on last stock, he's back there, he's dealing major damage, down B, he's like just barely hanging on at this point, yeah. and like, I, I was initially worried about David because of one factor, and that's the fact that Yoshi down air sends them up, because he likes yeah. to go for a lot of up airs. But Yoshi has not been using that very much, and no. that just kills. And the the down B is gonna end up ending it. Wow, Bowser is such an amazing heavy character to play as. One of probably, if not the best heavy character to play as right now against against Yoshi, who really doesn't have all that much to offer to to fight a heavy. That is. Yeah, because heavy characters usually when they're up on tier lists and stuff like that, they usually don't make it too high due to their easily like comboed stature and whatnot. That's true. But I think the only two heavies that really make it up there are probably Bowser, um, maybe K. Rool. I don't know. I think he's just mid tier. Yeah. I mean, Captain Falcon's probably really good for a heavy because he's just got that mobility factor. Yeah, he can he can usually outrun most characters. Yeah, Falcon's just such a good heavy, but looks like they're going to be going through banning process. And, um, and looks like they are going to be playing on Kalos League. Ooh. Now that is going to be a very interesting stage pick. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I personally do not see very many matches occur on Kalos. This is one of the stages that people just don't typically pick because it's such a weird stage design. That's but true. I'm assuming the opponent's probably going to pick a, a character who excels at that thing. Yeah. Because there are Pokemon who can really abuse those platforms, or not just Pokemon, I don't know why I said Pokemon. There are a lot of characters that can really abuse those, like, close to the side platforms. It looks like he's struggling to, oh, oh, never mind. Okay, I must have misheard, they might have banned Kalos. Oh. It looks like they're actually, oh, okay, swapping to K. Rule, that's a fair choice. 
He's going on Yoshi's Island. Yep, mono ale mono. He's he's oh. still he's still keeping in the Yoshi, but now it's just a stage. Swapping over to the other bigger and better reptile lizard, <laughs> and um, yeah, this time one huge thing that's gonna help K rule out here is his counter. Oh yeah, that's like that's a huge factor because Brett and, goes in for the combos and his tons of super armor too with all his moves. Yeah, he's one upping him with the armor. Plus, just amazing um, projectiles that can really keep him away. Because Bowser has no defense against projectiles. But he does still have good movement speed. And he's going. Oh, he's going for the blunderbuss. Oh, bus. my good. He yeah, he went for it. All right. Oh boy. I oh, really okay, on it. Yoshi's Island, really, with two heavies, that's going to be a very interesting match, being one of the smaller stages in the game. Yeah, Bowser's definitely going to excel at these platforms, because his side B is going to kill so much earlier because of them. Yeah. And another thing, like I said, K. Rool's main tool here that's going to help him a lot is his counter. But it's, since his side B goes through it, and he has got platforms on his side, he's got a lot of stuff to help him. Yeah. Uh, I can I can honestly say right now that it's actually a toss up. I'd, uh, with with Cable's super armor and uh, Bowser's tough guy mechanic. Yeah, we're just gonna have to let the match play for itself because this is so far really even. Yeah. Cause yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. And, it looks the, like he failed the recovery. And the, the stage the stage being one of the factors. It's so small. We have uh, a little bit less time like you do on most stages to recover. Yeah. And like the the short incline on the sides of the stage as well can like be really really problematic for K. Rool because one of his things that he does best is line up projectiles. Good down smash. Yeah. Um, but because of like the stage, it might mess up the trajectory and it could make evading him. Like let's say projectiles from mid, from like the middle of the stage, Bowser can just go onto the side where it's slightly inclined downwards. Yeah. And that'll help him a lot for avoiding. Yeah, I'd say right now, this is in, ba this is in Bowser's favor right now. Yeah, and it looks like... Um, Looks like Kale's gonna SD there. That's, yeah. Uh, that is that is gonna be maybe maybe a bit of an issue, but being Kale that he is, he is a really good comeback character. Yeah, he he really did underestimate that end lag from the uh, back air. He's got um, I, I don't know the exact amount. I know rule has got some of the most like lag heavy moves, like his up air. Ooh, oh, the armor really coming in clutch oh, yeah. there. That oh, could have yeah. been a trade, and it could have been a deal with the devil there. That's Ooh. true. Well, See, the again. And, and now we're going to have K. Roll making a comeback because of all that super armor. It's going to be hard to hit him. Yeah, just have to play having very the rage strategic. factor as well, dealing more damage and not back. He's got a lot of things in his favor. Oh, yeah. oh. Look at that, it's even. It's already back to even, wow. Like he, okay, K. Rool is bringing it back, surprisingly. I really thought that this was like all in Bowser after he SD'd the second stock, but he is, he brought and it he back. And he brings it back Beautiful for a 1-1 one, one game against I, Bowser. I don't know if he dropped shield or if it was a shield poke, but either way, the F smash just takes it. Wow, that it was, so, I, I honestly thought that was a really good game. Yeah, that was um, that was really exciting. K. Rool really came back there, and now we're going to game three, and this is going to be very exciting. Wow, I um, can't wait to see what happens. I do believe I I'm pretty sure Dave is gonna stick to Bowser because that's who he plays. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I I bet this guy will stick to K. Rool. I I am dying to see this match. I really am. All right. Oh man. All right. So. I know he's a hard Bowser main, and since the game was fairly close, like he had it in the bag for the most part oh, until yeah. the end. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he stuck Bowser, but he might change. Yeah, I think I think what uh, Dave was gonna want to do is probably ban the smaller stages now, knowing yeah. that he's gonna play K. Rule. Yeah, but then again, it's also scary because K. Rule's got more space to throw those projectiles, so it, it's a it's a really tough pick here against the K. Rule. That's true, but I I I'm pretty sure. That if he were to pick, if you were to pick a bigger stage, the uh, tough guy mechanic would probably come in a lot handy right there. Yeah, and it's just better movement speed would probably be good for a larger stage as well because you could chase him down more efficiently. Yeah, and I I'm pretty sure Bowser's faster than K. Rule, I believe. I feel like PS2 would probably be best stage for him. Oh yeah, and with the, the with the big stage and the platforms. Yeah, and the platforms for the side B and just evading the projectiles with the platform. Well, I mean, worst case would definitely be uh, FD. Mm -hmm. Because if it was FD, he has like no means to really avoid projectiles. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it looks like 
I, if I had to make a guess, it's probably going to go for PS2. Okay. But the opponent might ban it. I, uh, honestly, I think a good stage right now for the K roll to pick would probably be another small stage. Maybe maybe even Lilat, I'd say. Maybe try to get Lilat. Yeah, I, I, I know that sometimes people don't ban Lilac simply because they expect the other person to ban it because it's a really just weird stage that people don't typically play. Yeah. But who knows? That could be the play as K roll. Or no, the play is Bowser, because um, the stage has such interesting and weird downward inclines that it'll make the projectiles so much less effective, and it really doesn't affect Bowser that much. And since there's those platforms directly above him, he's got like his up air, he's got his up smash with the armor, but yeah, Lilac does seem like a really good pick for Bowser. Um, but it's also a good pick for K. Rule. Yeah. It, it's. This is just overall like a really equal matchup. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, honestly, it's it's a complete toss up. The blunt, both, with all the projectiles K Rule has, the tough kind mechanic, all the movement speed Bowser has, it's really just yeah, uh, random. And, and you know it would it would definitely be going better for K Rule I think if he was using his counter more, but he hasn't really been using it that much. Yeah. I don't feel like. He only really uses it as a reflector against his own projectiles, which he'd use like once when Bowser threw the crown at him. That's true. Which is surprising because Brett Brett loves rushing down people with Bowser. He goes in and he does it quickly. Yeah. Um, and another thing that I'm really surprised I haven't been seeing from the K rule is down throws. Because um, Bowser, his up out of shield is a huge tool in his kit, so he's going to be shielding a lot. And down throw, since it has a berry, can confirm into some crazy kill moves at low percents if they don't mash out fast enough. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and then sure. there's also stuff like forward throw, which can combo into back air at like 20% and kill. There, there's a lot of stuff that K. Rool could be doing with his grabs, but he just hasn't been using them. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Bowser's just been... He, he hasn't been like using his normal grab, but he still has that command grab under his belt, so he's fine. Yeah. Um... So yeah, I, I'm really interested to see how this match goes. I was very invested last game, especially with that comeback. I did not expect it or see it coming whatsoever. Oh, me, me neither. But like, as I said, King, King K. Rule is one of the more characters you can probably come back with with all that super armor and projectiles. Yeah, and he's got a lot of stuff that he can do to get people off stage at very low percents and just end them. Especially against Bowser, who just has a poor recovery. It's uh, very yeah. good, especially like Blunderbuss and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's another move I'm surprised he's only been using it really for the off-stage gimmicks. But um, Blunderbuss is a projectile, um, and it's a... Like, God, I, I always really forget... Oh, right, we got JV playing, so we're going to have some entertainment oh if uh, Varsity doesn't start up. But I'm assuming they're going to start soon as well. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, Blunderbuss is just like... In my opinion, it's one of K. Rool's, if not his best moves. For one simple reason, it's both a projectile, a command grab, because of the um, inhale feature of it. I don't know if it works as a command grab if it goes through shield, but it's safe on shields because they'll have to hold shield, and if they drop it, they just get sucked in. Um, he can relaunch the cannonball forward and up. He can relaunch the opponent up. There's just so much stuff that you can do with K. Rool's Blunderbuss. That's true. That I feel like the K. Rool just hasn't been utilizing enough of. Yeah. yeah. I think he really needs to, um, he needs to, he needs to play more, he needs to play more passively, I'd say. Yeah, more passive, and I think he needs to be a bit more ground-based, because he's been going for a lot of landing aerials, which doesn't work very well in Bowser because of his stuff like up, sh up smash, up be out of shield. Landing aerials really aren't the play against him. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm definitely going to say this a lot, but the tough guy mechanic, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I've really seen much of it. It's really been K. Rool, but it looks like they're going just normal battlefield. Um, All right, I, I, honestly, I honestly think that's even, I'd say. Yeah, this is good for both of them. Maybe a bit better for Bowser with the platforms. Yeah, platforms are definitely going to come in handy, especially against a projectile-based character. It's good for evasion, good for side B kills. Yeah. And overall, um, but then again, like you said, K. Rool should be playing more passive, and those platforms are going to allow him to like be more evasive. 
But uh, likewise for Bowser, this is going to be a very interesting match. Uh, be, uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's yeah. see where this goes. Yeah, right, I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Alright. Alright, let's see how they open up this match. Right. Bowser's going to open up with a fire, and King, Ko gonna, King K. Rool going to open up with a projectile. That sounds about right. Alright, yeah, up smash immediately gonna do some good damage. And yeah, he's already utilizing those um, those platforms to avoid his ground based attacks. Oh, nice reflect Ooh. on the crown. That's what I oh, said, man. Good he side smash. uses it against it. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work very well no. against the fire breath because it's so many hits. Oh, yeah, when when the fire breath comes out, he Ooh, probably should. Okay. If, he, if he down B's too much, he's probably gonna break his uh, shoot belly armor. Oh, yeah, he's going for that blunderbuss um, gimmick, but it's not working in his favor. Ooh, Ooh. battle of the armor right That's there. That's true, Both but of their the, armor thing is, the thing with K. Rool is his, his belly armor can break. Yeah, but Bowser's shell, it doesn't break. Oh, yeah, which means, um, oh, he, he, can, which means he might get confused. I think one more side B onto the platform and he's dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially now with the damage racked up from the fire breath. And K. Rool's just kind of hanging on. I can tell he definitely wants that blunderbuss, but Bowser is doing a really good job staying away from ledge. Ooh, but Ooh. some good evasiveness oh. from him, but the down Ooh, air. The down air is going to kill. Honestly, I didn't think that was going to kill when it had, but it was on the top ledge, so I guess and, that was fun. And he's at like, what, 170? Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't really see that move killing that much when I when I play Bowser anyway. Yeah, I because that's why you typically just go for the down special instead. Yeah. It's kind of the stronger, but then again, down air's got better frame data. Ooh. I think it has less on lag, but then again, down B also has the feature of shield breaking. Nice sure. dodge on the cannonball. Another thing that K. has got to watch out for is um, something I've completely forgot to acknowledge is the fact that you could suicide with this side B. Oh, that's now, true. But then again, I know you can Ooh. mash out of it. So K. Rool might be able to recover from it because he's got a strong recovery, but he's been really sure. good at avoiding blunderbusses. Wow. Like, right, he's right. going for a lot of the blunderbusses. That's probably going to be a big problem here. With, yeah, uh, he, um, K. Rool's getting too desperate. He's going for the same trick, and Bowser's caught on very well. And that's going to be a... There's, a he's going to be three... He's going to be a two-stock lead right now into the K. Rool. Yeah, this is um, looking very grim for him. Yeah, especially starting off with some big damage with the fire. Gonna get a kill, right. though. Yeah, I got a kill, but I would 100% take that trade for some good damage. Oh, absolutely. Here. Especially with another stock. Oh, okay, Ooh. but he's using the berries finally. Oh, the uppy shell just gonna completely neglect that crown. Oh, yeah. All right, but there, he's using those projectiles more. Seems like his his brain has expanded. Big brain, K. Rool. He, he's doing a lot of projectile. Oh god, okay, he's just spamming him now. <laughs> he's, he's Honestly, I think that might be the move playing a Bowser. Yeah, I mean, Bowser can't do much against Sony. Shoot, ooh, gonna end with right. a yeah, Carol's good side got, air. One thing I'm also surprised Bowser hasn't been going more for is the um, the down smash two frame. Is that, oh, and yeah, that's, that's gonna end it. The si oh, 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 wow. Oh, okay. I don't know, the, oh, yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's it. The up air is gonna end it. All right. That was honestly, that was a very win. good game. Beautiful. Good job to both players. Yep, clean win for Bowser. Good job to Carol. He did really well. And wait, is it was this game three? Yeah, that was game three. Okay. Which means David's actually gonna take the win. Two, right. one against the K rule. Alright, cool, cool. So we are... I'm gonna switch over to the uh, JV camera for now, because I feel like they're probably gonna be up next. Because they've still got to switch new characters, new opponents, all that. It looks like it looks like Dale's gonna be up playing for JV. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. His I, I, I do some believe professional coaching. I do he's, believe he's he is the Piranha Plant player. Yes, he is a professional Piranha Plant. Oh yeah got this. Dude, he, he's got such immaculate uh, spacing with his down specials as Piranha Plant. He's got this in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, unless he fights a mid-min, then he's probably, he might lose. His mid scary. I hate playing mid-min. I absolutely, no, no. The other day, I was actually playing an online match against mid -min. I was, I was, at, I was Wolf, and it was not fun. What about it? Was it fun? Everything. <laughs> what, you just couldn't recover? Like, I, cu I she, couldn't do anything. She hits you once and you're in disadvantage against Min Min, you just die. Exactly, that's, that's how it happened. Yeah. 
It, it's unfortunate. I wish that they would have at least made it so you could like reflect her arms. That would have made it a bit better. Oh yeah. If, 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 no, you can't. I, I, oh, trust me, I tried. Uh, I tried. <laughs> that, that would be a pretty helpful nerf, and she still would be decent. That's because true. Because she could still approach with like Nair and stuff like that, which is combos into other aerials. Like, it's one thing for Min Min to be like a ranged fighter, but she's also got good tools for close range. That's the same problem I have with Zelda. Yeah. She's more of a like zoning character, but she's got such good melee tools like her neutral be. Mm -hmm. And stuff, it's really scary. I'm gonna switch back over to Varsity, because it looks like they've already gotten their character selected. Looks like Antonio is gonna be playing Kirby. This is the Kirby who knows those like crazy throw combos, right? I don't know. All I know is I'm pretty sure this Kirby usually runs the uh, blue color. But, um, just come with a white, I guess. Oh, man. Alright. Listen, they say it's impossible to be a blue Kirby, but I mean, white isn't blue. White's in every color. Except black. But, I mean, That's black, true. I guess black isn't a color. I, I don't know. That's debatable. I don't want to start a 20 minute argument about whether black. About colors? Ab about whether or not black is a color. <laughs> That's not what the commentation is for. No. All right, um, so yeah, Kirby, um, very good character for, um, especially on online, great combo potential. Oh yeah, it looks like, it looks like we're gonna start, ooh, we're gonna potential. get them, maybe we're gonna get the stage, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. they still gotta get the stage, the other Sneak person peek. still needs to, it looks like they had to leave the arena for whatever reason, because uh, I know it's probably still the same, the same club and the same switch, but they're, they're switching, they're, um, gonna be back in the arena. This might be JV, but we'll swap over there if we see that their game's getting set up. Yeah. Alright. Right, we'll music change. Alright, what do right, we get? Cuphead. 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 Can we get some Megalovania, huh? Yeah, maybe, that would be maybe, good. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, Megalovania would be sick. Picto no. chat, even better. Oh, oh, come on. I love bath time theme. No. <laughs> no, no. I've played I've played Nintendogs. I love bath time theme. I haven't played Nintendog before. I love the assist trophy, though. It's so cute. Oh, it's oh, this really? song. Okay. No, I've heard this one. Yeah, yeah, I remember this song. Oh, yeah. Um, I hear it sometimes in a Little Z video. <laughs> I, hear, I hear it all the time in Little Z videos. It, he only has like Not 10 sponsored. different songs that he uses in every video. He only uses like 10, 20 different songs. <laughs> um, but yeah, good good music. It's not Floral Fury or Megalovania though, so I'm kind of disappointed. Sure. Because both know, of those are good. I, on, I, I honestly uh, I honestly want to see this Kirby go off. I, 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 don't, I don't actually see Kirby's play that much. Yeah, the only Kirby, like, I try to think of like every professional player I know. The only one that I know of who plays Kirby is like that one, um, I think he's a Mexican guy. His name is like Jaja Jaja or something. Never heard of him. Okay, but he's like the only like in tournament like professional Kirby player I can think of. Nah. Um, gotcha. I mean, there's Hungry Box, but he. Oh, he's not, I that, love Hungry Box. Yeah, he's clearly it's clearly Kirby with just a better haircut. That's all it is. Of course. And, and they're much better in the air, That's which true. is which is one of the bad things about Kirby. I forgot to mention because. Um, Kirby's mobility compared to like um, I'm just gonna do in comparison to Puff um, for example Puff has such good airspeed and such good jumps Kirby yeah. despite having so many jumps and being just like the balloon Pokemon that Kirby is I don't know lore of Kirby I don't know what he is I do but I'd have to go into full detail and that will be like 30 minutes yeah you're gonna have to explain to them how he's a god that can destroy literally anything that's true listen listen Kirby is, solo is your favorite verse yeah, Kirby he, actually solo is your favorite verse yeah he's canonically the strongest character in all of smash that's true oh and it looks like we're gonna get some JV oh, from man, JV action never to, mind oh, we just well, we just got we just got uh, yeah we just got we just got we just, we just got Hornswoggle, that's what I was looking for. Oh, no, they're just picking their character. Okay, no. they might be stuck. Alright, but anyways, I want to watch this Piranha Plant go in. Oh, oh someone's... It looks, oh, someone's spectating. Alright, well, it looks like we're actually going to oh, get that's Final the, Destination. Wow. Oh, that's the arena holder. They have to be in there so the arena keeps going. Okay. Alright, here we go. We got the Piranha Plant. Oh, wait, that's probably us. Oh, wow. We have, uh, we have Dale. Playing his Toronto plant against a Mario. Wow. Mr. Mario. Now, uh, one thing that 
that Piranha Plant's gonna have to be very careful of. Since he's such a heavyweight, getting juggled is gonna be a serious problem. Oh yeah, that is oh. gonna be a real problem with Mario. Yo, um... The, the down airs are really gonna... Yo, so yeah, playing Cuphead. What is Chad? Cuphead? Yeah, yeah, he's right. Um... Yeah, he's right. He's the, um... He's the guy who played against me. Oh, bad. Speaking of which, um, looks like we're gonna have to go back over yeah, to Varsity. Um, we're gonna get a Kirby K rule matchup. Wow. All right. Um. So yeah. Um. K rule is fat, which you probably know. So that means um, good combo food. But then again, oh, yeah. he's also got a uh, counter. So gotta Ooh. be careful. But the, he's our oh, but the platform. I just the platform remembered. Ruined it, but that was so. Platforms sick. really mess up Kirby's combo game, especially the ones that mess up with his forward throw. Because that's one of, if not the most important combo tool that Kirby has. But he's also got other stuff. Ooh, but, oh, but oh gosh, but Kirby's the, got a the, lot of jumps. The, the blunderbuss. Yeah, just call it that. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh man. He, he's just trying to keep him off of him. Wow. Uh, Kirby's we'll, really going in there for the for the down tilts. Wow. Yeah. Real good combo gets, starter. Yeah. If he gets the trip, it's uh, it's game time. Um. Oh, oh, and he he turned around on action, I think. But Kirby's yeah, gonna actually turn around on purpose and yeah, get the he's smash taking deck. the opportunity and he's running with it. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, Kirby's got such excellent frame data on his wow. down tilt. Comes out so quickly that it's so hard to challenge. But you know what else is hard to challenge? K rule recovery. That's true. Um, you can't really head guard him unless you're like. Because yeah, one of Kirby's best yeah. tools is his down air, especially off stage. But it works as a combo tool as well. That's true. But as a spike, it's really good. But yeah. against a character with such a good recovery, like K rule. Wow, another side matter. smash to get the kill on K rule. We might even be able to watch the rest of the JV game. Who knows? Wow, the, Kirby's actually like going in and playing very well balanced. If, I'd say he's he's keeping he, his range. He's understanding realize, what he's he, supposed to do. If he goes down with an up kill, that's it. And I think he's, oh my god. I, I think, think he's fishing for it. Yeah, I think he was going to go for down air up B, maybe. Oh, he got the oh, blunder Oh, going to get the blunderbuss out. Oh, uh, one, one really funny thing you could do with Kirby blunderbuss is shoot the cannonball straight up. And you know how his up throw sends him straight up into the sky? Yeah. You could do it into their cannonball and it kills at like 20, 30. Wow. And uh, it's really situational, but it's really funny when it hits. And yeah, Carol is just getting desperate for this kill. He doesn't want to get three stocked. He doesn't want to lose. Right, Kirby's like, it looks nah. like Kirby's, Kirby's not gonna let him. Kir Kirby is the God Slayer. He's the strongest character for a reason. And yeah, he's really proving a point here. But nah, that range is just not as good. But now he's got a projectile. Shoot. Oh, wow. the read on the counter. And Kirby's gonna g actually get the three stock. And wow, that is actually one of the best players I've seen. With he he knew what he knew exactly what to do at the right time. He knew exactly the right range, the right motion, the right distance. He was motioning him out he was just he was just out playing the cable right, wow back on a jv games actually nearing its end so we made it on time to see how this ends we it got looks mario. like mario's gonna do a lot of fireballs now yeah and mario is ahead on percent so he's oh, yeah. gonna have to go in more but he's Ooh, getting that damage good for twoies good for twoies oh nice dodge against the down b this is um this is scary especially mario up smash he's so strong oh yeah and it comes out so quickly low end lag yeah, oh yeah, fireballs are. Close. With 120 percent right now, he's got the rage. He can absolutely kill the Mario. Oh, for sure, especially with Patui. But you've always got to watch out for his cave. I, Dude, that I, was a good grab. Yeah, we didn't get to see much of the map, but considering he hasn't been using too much Patui, I nope. Okay, never mind. But I know Mario can cape it. Oh, but he whips the down air. It's true. It's gonna be a big problem. Ooh, Super and the armor down, and down B. B. Ooh. Okay, this going is out. Oh, and the Patui's going to kill! Wow! Oh, I saw him try to cape it. He landed on it with the cape, but the hitbox just wasn't there for him. And the Patui going to take that. Wow, what a, what a good Patui by Dale, I'd say. Yep, and just like that, we were able to make it in time to witness the end of the JV game. We got to witness, we got to witness I, both games, wow. Yeah, and that was game one, I think. I um, believe. So we're going to swap back on over to Varsity. Um... Wow. Okay. So. Wait, is this? Those were both honestly really good games. Even if, even though we just got to see the end of the JV. Yeah. Wait. I forgot the varsity game. Was this a game? Was it game one? It was game one. Yeah. For varsity. Okay. And why? I honestly can't wait for the start again. I cannot wait to see that Kirby play. Yeah. 
and I, I'd only assume that the other guy's gonna swap out. Oh yeah. If I was the other guy, I'd just go to Puff and take my chances with her, because she's so floaty, hard to combo. That's true. And she, like, yeah, he's got so many jumps, but Kirby recovery is not great. Mm -hmm. So I think Puff could easily exploit Kirby very easily, but I don't know if they play Puff. Honestly, I can feel that guy's pain, though. I've played Kirby's a lot every time I usually lose. It's terrible. Yeah, Kirby's got so much combo ma potential, and um, yeah, really the only saving grace so far has been those platforms, which have been messing him up from excelling even further. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far Kirby's got like, not only has he damaged him by beating him, but I'd assume there's also a bit of mental damage too. Because I know if I get three stocked by someone, I'm probably going to lose the next match. Not just because I lost, but because when I get three stocked, I get mad. Well, um, I don't get mad. I get tilted. You know, I, I get, yeah. and then you just play worse. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a big thing with uh, Smash Bros. It's a very mental game. You, yeah. I I honestly think if this guy can keep his composure, he might be able to take it back. Um, I think someone knocked over my sprite. Cool. I don't know if it's safe to open this. All right, all clear, all clear. <laughs> Lost most of the flavor, but still, it's still good. I don't know what knocked it over. <laughs> Bug. Alright, looks like they're gonna go... Uh, I, think, I think he'll stick to Kirby here, right? Yeah, most likely. Yep, and he's... Oh, wait, is he not? Or maybe I don't know. He's, maybe he's backing out because he already has selected Kirby, but I don't know. All right, and it looks like Dale for the JV team is going to stick with Piranha Plant. Yep. All right. So, yeah, we've, um, both of them still setting up. Um, I'm, I still have my money on the fact that he's going to stay Kirby. He, he not only, like, won that game, he destroyed that game. And, um. I would say that was, that was very good play, play, playing of the Kirby. It's not, it's not even that the King, King K. Roll play bad. He played pretty good. It's just the fact that Kirby and K. Rool don't mix well. Yeah, not for K. Rool at least. Oh man, for for a Kirby, it's probably like a dream come true with all the combo stuff that they can do. Oh yeah, I would say honestly, uh, I'd I'd switch off K. Rool. I'd honest, I'd I'd probably switch to like maybe uh, uh, Marth, a sword fighter, definitely someone with yeah. range. Yeah, Ike. <laughs> Ike, I I I would, but like too slow. Or yeah, Nair. Sephiroth. <laughs> too, so much range. Too much range even. Min Min. Just run that, that, that's, just, that's, just, that's just all the range. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good options, and K. Rule just really wasn't one of them. That's true. Um, and yeah, it looks like they're going on to PS. Oh, wait, no, that's Club. My bad. <laughs> we don't even have a stream for that one. I'm so sorry. Um. Shout out to our club team, by the way. We may not be able to see them on the stream, but they are trying their best, and they are popping off, I think. Woo. I, I don't know for sure. Um, All right, uh, Dale. They, uh, they just want everything to match, so they're switching to Yoshi. Uh, they chose Yoshi's story, and they're switching to Yoshi's story. Oh. That home advantage. All right, so. All right, looks like we're going to be playing on Yoshi's story and playing as Yoshi. Oh, man, this is a second Yoshi player we've seen. It's true. Yeah, and I typically don't see that many Yoshis, so this will be interesting. Yeah. And once again, JB's going to be first one to start. Maybe well, if we're lucky, the same instance will happen where we'll be able to see the end of it. Maybe. I honestly don't know which direction this will go in. Do you have any idea? Um, man, I'm trying to think of matchups here. I'm going to think less of just matchup charts, more of just logic. Um, so Dale's main tool here has definitely been Patui. Oh, yeah. Two in is down special. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't see much of a counter that Yoshi has other than his armor, but this guy does seem genuinely good with Yoshi. That's true. That is going to be a big problem, but the Patuis are really going to help. And we are oh, unfortunately going to have to switch over to Varsity. Um, keep it up, uh, Dale, Piranha Plant, and good luck to Yoshi. All that good stuff. Yeah. All Ooh, right. a Marth. Yeah, like I said, Sword Fighter. You're going right. to want a Sword Fighter. Roy. Roy, Roy, he's that my boy. That is not Mark. It, it's close. It's very close to Mark. Very close. There's so many fire emblem fighters. I literally wouldn't even know. That's true. 
I, I personally don't play much Fire Emblem. But I don't think this guy plays it either. He probably just wants the Swordy. I don't think so anyone who plays Smash plays Fire Emblem. Yeah, a Ooh, few, gonna, gonna, gonna get, although, the thing with Roy here is... Oh. And SD. Alright, well, the thing with Roy here is the fire is gonna do a lot more damage than most, and the sweet spot on the hilt is gonna be a lot more convenient. So wait, yeah, one huge problem with this Roy pick, though, uh, I'm, I'm gonna ask you, do you think you know what it is? Uh, might be that he can't tip her. No, the recovery. Now, he's, oh, still, he's still got Tipper. Oh, that's tipper. true. That's he still true. has Tipper, just not as much as Marth. He's got the crunchy spots. Oh, yeah. Because some of them make, like, the um, the wet noodle noise, and then others make, like, a really crisp sound. That's kind of his um, type of Tipper. Yeah. But, yeah, his poor recovery is... Um, mm. But he does have one of the strongest counters in the game in terms of, like, damage multiplier sure. and all that. And I believe the up B has a lot of kill percentage. Oh, he, he didn't... I think Kirby couldn't tell if he wanted the power up or not, so he just let him go. Oh, I think he just made his decision. Now he's trying to inhale him again. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized if um if Kirby reads his counter. Oh, oh it looks like Roy's gonna SD again. Again, the yeah, upbeat. It, it, yeah, it, it's gonna do probably a number on him. Yeah, but yeah, if Kirby reads a Roy counter, he can get like a free inhale from it, which yeah. he could easily abuse because Roy's recovery is. Hot water, hot garbage. It's not good. Oh, but yeah, yeah, that's a kill. All right, he's gonna get the kill off. Yeah, there's a lot of variants. Although of the that side the big special. the big. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of variants of that side special. But yeah, Roy, I think Roy and Mark have the strongest one. Oh, but Ooh. oh, geez. wow. And again, the Kirby is gonna take it. Yeah. That wow. Gives us a back air, giving him the feces. It's, right. it's, it's not even. It's oh, not even oh that the other player was. It's not the even. The Yoshi a, pick's working. Wow. I, I, their Yoshi pick is actually not backfiring. Wow. Oh man, this is scary for Piranha Plant. Full stock and and then some. Um, so, again, it's it's only game uh, two. Yeah. So he's yeah, got so a whole other game to do this. Yeah, this will be just to even it up. But yeah, it, it really makes you wonder why was he going the other guy at the beginning. He's, he clearly is just, maybe he needed to be enlightened on the fact that he feels he's better. Maybe. Or maybe it's a fluke. I don't know, but Ooh, down the down he's going to end up. Oh, oh no, he's going to no. survive. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, I always forget that Piranha Plant is a very heavy character, and he's not going to die so easily. Ooh, can he, he might be able to take this back. I mean, he's, he could. He, he's got the rage. I, I'm going to be honest, one of the most scary things is against Piranha Plant is getting shield broken. Oh. Down smash gonna end it. Yeah, but again, so. only right. game one. Game two, good game three gonna commence uh, shortly. But yeah, back yeah. to that Kirby game. Wow. It's not even that the other player wasn't was it was bad. He was actually pretty good, really good even. But the Kirby, again, outmatching almost all of the roster. Gonna almost be a big problem. It's the guy who plays like uh, mainly Squirtle and then Ivysaur and barely plays Charizard. I want to see a Flare Blitz. Uh, I really do. I want to see a forward throw or back throw into Flare Blitz. And that's what I want to see. I went for it like a few times online. I mean, it's not optimal in the slightest. It doesn't really work <laughs> for the most part because people don't usually jump into it. Yeah. But it's fun to hit nonetheless. All right. Man, I am... I'm really, really scared for Brett, though. This is... Uh, this is really close. Or is this, true. No, this is game two, right? This is... What, what do you mean game two? JV. Oh, Dale? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, this is going to be close. It's going to be down to the wire. Game three going into. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I was pretty confident from the start. Like, the game against the... Uh, what's it again? Oh, no. What What is their character that they were playing game one? Uh, K. Roll. Carol, but yeah, Carol pick did not work very well. Oh, wait, like, against the Piranha Plant? Yeah, against Mario. The, oh, Mario. But yeah, uh, that didn't go too well, but he's definitely found his confidence with Yoshi, and he's yeah. sticking with it, and um, it's very terrifying, because Yoshi um, Yoshi online is a, a monster of a oh, character. Oh, don't even get me started on Yoshi's online. Hbox has taught me a lot about Yoshi's online. Oh, yeah. He, he's brainwashed me into strongly disliking them. Um, but I'm not gonna let that change my opinion on the game because the Yoshi player did use a lot of skill. That's true. That was pretty good for a Yoshi player, I'd say. Anyway, I know that was really good. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to JV because so far the games have been like in the same pattern. JV starts, then varsity. Yeah. Alright. Uh, 
right. So. Oh, man. Um, um all right. So, I I don't know what stage you're going on this time, but for Piranha Plant, I honestly think he wants to get a big stage without the platforms. Yeah, platforms. I mean, they can be good in the sense that Patui goes through them, so it can catch people who are on top of the platforms, but it's bad in the sense that... Actually, no, it, it seems pretty good for Piranha Plant to have platforms, just really? because of the Patui, because it goes through the platforms. And his up air, his down B goes through the platforms, up smash goes through the platforms. Uh, I know there's other stuff he can do through platforms. He can up air combo with platforms into up B, which can kill. But I don't know how much of this Dale knows how to do. Yeah. I, I, I haven't seen his skill cap yet. But so far, it, it seems like uh, pretty even in terms of skill. It's just Yoshi is much better at just sitting back and knowing when to strike. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I, don't know I should not have worn sweats today. <laughs> it's a bad day to wear these. Mm -hmm. Oh, they just did. Uh, they just. I mean, I don't know if you heard that or not, but they just banned a couple of the most annoying stages, which means Dale doesn't Including have to worry about Lilap, banning the most annoying. Yeah, so Dale doesn't have to worry about banning those. That's huge. Yeah. Fun. And it, yeah, and it actually looks like Dale is banning FD. So I guess he really does wow. want those platforms. I, I'm telling you, man. Platforms with Piranha Plant, the Down B, and the Patui, they do so well on platforms. That's true. And I, I think he's got this in the bag as long as he plays passive enough. So best of luck to you, Dale, and we're gonna switch to Varsity. And I saw Me Brawler. I just saw my favorite character. Pokemon Trainer versus Me Brawler. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup, yeah. I'd say. Me Brawler, in my opinion, is one of the most hyped characters in the game. But it really just depends on if they have the, the oh, it's, ball. it's just classic. Oh wait, this is isn't this the guy with the the black ball? The two, no, not the Patui. The shot part. Uh, that, this is an R guy. Yeah, this might be an, no, oh no, maybe that's just a popular pick. But God, he's he is messing. Ooh, he's him going up. right in. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's got the faint jump. That's terrifying because of the recovery option. Oh yeah. Yeah, it gives me brawler such an amazing recovery option. It's terrifying. And dude, he's dash dancing Ooh, wow. on him. He's um, already dealing mental damage. He's probably gonna have to swap over to Ivy Sword. Yep, there it is. Oh yeah, here comes I Ion. I'm pretty sure this is this is his ace. Honestly. Yeah, this is his best character in my humble opinion. He knows how to get the setups into Vine Whip, and he knows how to kill with the up air. Oh yeah, especially, Ooh, especially the misses. fastball with the up up air. Oh be real good. yeah, he's going for the side beam into Vine Whip, not quite landing. Ooh. Ooh. Axle kick, the axle kick into right. shot put. Well, the good news about that is, oh, he's going straight. He's going to straight it. to his ace. Wow. Yep, there gonna, it is. Gonna get the instant uh, return yep, recovery. Going switches. straight to Charizard yep, for the fire a little bit. Nah, no, gonna switch into Swordle. Nah, he's just stalling out because he's got some lag on it. Ooh, Ooh good Squirtle right. combo. Yeah, dash attack up till up air. That is, um, I have not seen that one before. Oh, the side B. But yeah, Me Brawler's Me Brawler side B does so much damage. It's very scary. Like, again, the axle kick also doing a ton of damage. Yeah, this is a very close game. Um, ooh, ooh up Good up good up See, but yeah, like I said, faint jump, which is, if you don't know that. Oh, oh, no way. And he's going to get, no he's, he's way. at, oh my God. He actually just got, he actually just got the, he actually just got the water gun kill. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed oh my to be the shoutcaster, but I'm sorry, that was just too cool. <laughs> that I have never seen someone catch a recovery that well with a neutral special. Wow, that was actually intense I, that was beautiful. that was so cool sent him into free fall straight down to the stage that was beautiful that's true although execution. although he he can yeah this me is, brawler can still take it back but he's gonna switch into his ace yeah this is suddenly really really good for him like oh, yeah. he is um pokemon trainer on pokemon stadium what yeah it was for? super it was super even it, it was even in brawler's favor at the start but now it's just it's gone downhill just from that one beautiful beautiful gimmick with the neutral special all right, going for the forward throw. He's really just forcing him to approach. And up wow, eight. and he's gonna he's yeah. gonna get the kill with the vine whip. Yep. Wow, ripping him out of the air. And look at that. Like I said, get to watch the end of the JV game. This is the sequel we've been waiting for to see if Dale can pull through. And so far, he's doing very well. 
He really is. Again, the FT, he doesn't want them platforms. He didn't get them. Yeah, platforms are evil, man. Ooh, he's going to be using a lot of Patuis here, I believe. Ooh, the poison gas, too. Yeah, I, I expected him to go platforms. Get some good they damage. They were picking FT. Oh, but yeah, Yoshi isn't out, though. He, he's... So Yoshi is far from out. Yeah, he is Ooh, down. The down beat oh, could be good, but okay. missed by like an inch. He's good, though. He's really good. And he's in, he's in really good position right now. Yeah, yep. He's got him Give me the stage. poison right now. The most important thing against Yoshi is Ooh, the Patui. Oh, down. so close. So All right, close. yeah. Patui is getting towards that point where it will start killing. Yoshi's probably going to be shielding more. If he gets a shield break as Piranha Plant, it's over. But then if again, he gets a, if he gets a down beat, it's over. Yeah, if either of them get a shield break, it's over. Like, it's down to the wire. Ooh. Because this is scary, though. Because Yoshi... Ooh. Oh, no! 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 Oh, the my forward God. air spike. Oh, my gosh. That was a robbery. That was... That was... That oh was an actual ro that was actually a you, robbery. You, you know what's ironic about that robbery? You know how everyone makes jokes about like Yoshi being a tax fraud? Oh I guess my he's goodness. used to being a criminal, so he's probably also used to robbing. Yeah. So that's why he was able to rob him of that game. <laughs> the that both was... games both of those games were so amazing. With the water gun kill, the vine whip kill. Honestly, <laughs> And the, and the Yoshi, the Yoshi Ford are going to spike that. that. That was a really ballsy choice there. Oh, like yeah. To go for an option, because if he with that. Um, wow. I honestly did not expect, I did not expect him to win that. That was crazy. It was like a dark horse coming out. Yeah, that was a um, beautiful thing. Yeah, that was I, intense. Like, he, he immediately did it. He didn't hesitate. But, yeah. but good job to to all players in those matches. Yep. Honestly, very very good games, right down to the wire. Right. Although that was only the first game for Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, we still got plenty of games for him. Dill, that was so close. What? So wait, you're up now. Yeah. All right, Marcus is gonna be heading out of the commentary now. Marcus is up, right? All right, Marcus. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, sayonara to the commentator. Um, and we're probably... Okay. All right, I'm going to go provide emotional support for, um, for my pal Marcus. Uh, and we're going to have... Uh, these guys take over, and um, yep, I hope you enjoyed my commentary, blah blah blah, uh, enjoy the rest of the games. Alright. Uh, like that. We, we, we did it. Yeah. All right. Hello, hello. We're back for another round of JV. Oh, no, no. This is um, this Varsity. Is varsity here. I'm here joined with Dale Mossman, the, I'm here the Piranha with Plant. That was playing. I'm here joined with Diego Sanchez, the captain of Junior Varsity. Dale Mossman, one of the better players. I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> my co-commentator. You're too kind. You're, you're too kind. Here we have Brett with his typical game play. Typical, uh... Typical, you know... Oh. 
We just saw a spike from the <laughs> the Mii Sword Fighter. Oh wow, this is a close one. This is coming down to like... Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a strategy. You could just spam. I mean, <laughs> I... I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Switch nice up the... by the... Yep. I'm, uh, I actually don't me. think this is Brett. I'm gonna go check if it's Brett or um. Uh, I don't think it is actually. It seems like it is Ethan playing. No, that is Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. yes. Yeah, Brandon's playing, and he's playing his uh, his Pokemon thing. Mm -hmm. So. Oh. Here we go. All right. We see that um, Ivy Sword does have uh, the. Stage control here, but oh, me sword fighter, fighter yeah. takes it back so quickly. Ooh, gets nice. gets the up air, tries to go for another one, misses it. Gets the side the side beat. Okay, okay. They're both just throwing projectiles, seeing what hits. No! Oh, and the up oh, beat wow. by the me sword fighter gets the ivy sword, dude. Making that me sword fighter take that round. <laughs> I can't get over this man's face. <laughs> this oh, sword no. fighter is uh interesting to say the least. Kind of looks like. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna switch back over to JV. We have a Joker versus a Mario. Um, a lot of Mario players out here today. Yeah, it's it's kind of strange to see it. He's such a, like, base character. Like, he's so, like... He's an all-rounder. He's, yeah, so. he's so all-round in everything he is. Like, he's good at, like, everything. But, I mean, that... It's Mario, so it's like, you know... Of course he's gonna be all-around. <laughs> His pro he has a projectile, reflector, good crab combos. Yeah. But this isn't really a good match for the uh, the Joker. Or the other way around. Yeah, I was going to say. Because Mario is going to struggle because since since Joker does more like ranged attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, what a wow. spike by the Mario. Taking out that Joker in one hit. Arson gone. Trying to get, get that back. arson back. Nice. Good read. Gets good the read. down smash. Or is that the side smash, right? Yeah. No, that's just a... Like... Forward smash? No, when just... Oh, yeah, yeah. That was forward smash. That was forward smash. Nice. Ooh. The Mario combos I was talking about. But now he's going to get arson. Have a comeback mechanic. Ooh, Ooh nice. nice. Even without nice it, he didn't even need it. Joker. He just had to read the attack. It's very nice. Very nice. Gets arson out. Ooh, misses the 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 forward, the forward chart, the forward smash by the Mario. Seems like the Mario is not having a good time against this Joker. No, definitely. Oh, miss oh, nice. That was good on the Mario. Instead of attacking, he just grabbed the reflector, which is what you're supposed to do when they counter. Yeah. You use your grab. It is. It actually is kind of a close match if you think about it. Because this, this it's Mario definitely in um, Joker's favor, though. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like this Mario isn't letting like this Joker like stay on stage for long. So it's like, oh, nice, nice charge by the the Joker. Nice, oh. good read. You see, gets another grab, back throw. Oh, he tried to go for the counter. Nice. Oh. He's Oh, I thought he was gonna die there. I did too, but I think the lag. <laughs> the lag saved him. Okay. Oh. oh. What an. Like, that's the thing though. Like, Mario. Like, even though Mario is all around, he's still very strong. Yes, definitely. Back in Varsity, actually, the me. The. They're, they're both even with the Pokemon trainer having a slight advantage. Due to them having less. Ah, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, I didn't know that. It's pretty I'm cool. trying to see how this ends. Nice! He got the poke on the he got a poke on the Mario and then ended up killing him. Alright, we're gonna switch back over to Varsity real quick. And we're gonna see that the oh, I love the Pokemon music. The Pokemon the Pokemon trainer is actually in the lead now. Taking 2-1. On this me sword fighter. <laughs> that me sword fighter has a interesting thing. It's very interesting, but that's he's strong though. 
I mean, you don't really see a lot of knees, like, just playing competitively, you know? Yeah, definitely not. I mean, my me is a sword fighter, but I don't know if I would make him look like that. <laughs> I wouldn't really. Ooh. It's safe to say this Charizard needs one good hit. Okay, maybe something was- Ooh, Oh, nice! nice. By, the, by the Pokemon <laughs> trainer and I believe Pretty that's cool. that. Good matches all around, actually. From both Definitely. our varsity team and our JV team. Good job, Brandon and Marcus. Pretty good games all around. Oh yeah. Good job, Brandon. That was cool. Did you, did you enjoy watching? Yes, of course. What do, you, what, do you, what do you what do you got to say to to the viewers at home? The viewers at home? Well, if, if there are any of you, um, <laughs> I'm glad it was enjoyable to watch because I I really try to make um, the gameplay look cool. Honestly, yeah, he was going for do some more spicy than anything. combos. I saw oh, yeah. he was like. He went for the risky boom and then like got him off stage. That back, that back air though, that was Dude, so cool. It was them saucy combos. Oh, this, this is actually Brett here. Oh, oh, now we have Brett the that first. The actual Brett. The one, the only Brett. <laughs> Brett the first. I always try to go for saucy combos when I'm playing. Of course, game. you know you wanna you wanna make it fun to watch and also very fun to play. We have Joker again and Pokemon Trainer from the one, the only Brett. And the up and coming Marcus with his Joker gameplay. Pretty clean. Very nice. I'm very excited to see who's gonna go up against who. It's always a, it's always a randomized thing. Like every time, you know, during these matches. Yes. So. All right, and we're we're about to go into this uh, to this next varsity match. We're gonna see Brett as Pokemon trainer, and they're gonna be playing on uh, Spear Pillar. That's not a legal stage. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Palkia. <laughs> Seems like JV is. Seems gonna like be they're getting out a kick out of <laughs> they're getting a kick out of the other player um, switching to a character that. This player is actually particularly good at. And that would be who? Sora. Sora. From Kingdom Hearts. Of course. <laughs> because Nintendo and their and their franchising. Yes. We love Nintendo though. No, no, of course. Or else we wouldn't be doing this. Mm. Doing unless we wouldn't be streaming, unless we wouldn't be playing these games. Alright, we're gonna switch back over to uh to JV, JV to see mm -hmm. the Sora versus the Joker. Place the bets now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to bet because... I bet you a dollar. I don't have a dollar. Pop. I don't no, have money. No, this Indianians, they're changing my way of speaking. Sody pop. Sody pop. No, I mean the soda. Bro. The soda. That sounds so much better than pop. I say fizzy <laughs> drink. He does not. He is kind of quirky. <laughs> I'm quirky and cool, guys. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while well, this match this is holding, oh well, they were off by one percent actually. Now oh, oh, oh. Sora isn't letting the Joker on. The stage. Joker is actually really good against Sora, considering he has a reflector and a projectile. No, a reflector and a um counter at the same time. I don't for this Joker like specifically. I don't really see them using their gun. Like oh, yeah, there's a lot of gun gameplay that's out there, and it's fun, like, once you get really used to one character, utilizing all their moves, so they can get the best utility out of them. And then once you get to a certain level, you don't even look at your character, because you know their movement so well, yeah. so you just stare at the other character, and look at what they're doing, and then, oh, nice. I love that animation. Is that one of the more rare animations? No, that happens if you don't, that happens if you get it naturally. Oh. Like, they're the game production. Progression because there's several ways to get it. So, what is arson? Have you ever played Pokemon? <laughs> oh my, it's like that, but like with ghosts and they're like the embodiment of like they're kind of like stands in JoJo, but you don't have <laughs> one. <laughs> but they're like stands in JoJo, but instead of like choosing, you just get 
you can not, not instead of getting one, you like choose it. You like pick one. And like Arisen isn't the strongest. He's just one of the main ones. It's kind of like Pikachu. Like Pikachu is not the strongest. Charizard is not the strongest, but they're like the. Fake. Oh, what a nice re reflector oh, nice. by yeah. the. Not the Sora. Like, Charizard is not the best Pokemon out there, but he's the face of Pokemon, just like Arsene is, you know? Yeah. Ooh, nice. And it's nice the one so associated with... Um, nice thunder by the so Joker. Sora. A little bit of, uh, Persona 5 lore. <laughs> like, you know, Ash has Pikachu. But right. Pikachu isn't the strongest one. As long as... <laughs> as much as the Pokemon franchise tries to convince you, Pikachu is not strong at all. Yeah. All right, so the Sora is is using the Everything. thunder, the thunder really well here, making sure that the the Joker has stays all on his toes. Yeah. yeah, but I mean the Joker is getting a lot of good combos. A lot of combo. Oh, if that would have hit, that would have been very clean. That would have been dead for. Uh, well, maybe. Ooh. Tries to get the the up smash. Doesn't doesn't hit. They're like. Exchanging blows. Yeah. yeah, they're dancing around each other. Nice, nice. Joker is one of the better characters in this game by far. Oh yeah. Because of his combo game and like combat mechanic. It's very, it's very good. It's, it's very good, and it's one of the. He has the best counter in the game, and plus. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, but the Sora doesn't die. The Sora because the Sora has an amazing. He has the like best recovery. <laughs> well, one of the best ones. Joker also does too, but it's like Sora is just in another level that well, never. Okay. We well, Joker as in like arson Joker. Or no, like both of them. The grappling hook is always good, and so is this one, the arson Joker, because he has invincibility when he's going up. Oh, nice. This nice. could be anybody's game. One good forward smash, and then the sword is just as just as hurt as this Joker. But you know, the Joker isn't gonna let that happen. This could so. be anybody's game. It really could. It really, it, it really could here. Oh, <laughs> he went for the spike. Very saucy. <laughs> Tried to sauce it up, but couldn't. Nice, nice. Joker making sure that the sword doesn't get back on stage. Gets that side view off. Goes for the goes for the fireball. <laughs> Uses thunder. Gets oh. gets arson off. Okay. Tries to go for that side smash. Doesn't he land got it. This, got this. Gets the jab off. Oh, tries to go for that. Spike. Guy okay. tries to go for the spike. Misses it. Gets gets that. Tries to go for the the fireball. Misses it. Tries nice. Walls and gets the side, gets the balls, gets the side smash go. off. Let's go, baby. Ah. What nice. it, that, that was a very intense match. I love the music too. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you can put it. Well, you All can right. change the music. I don't even know you can do that. I don't know. What did I do? Because it turned it on. <laughs> How do I turn it off? Well, it's fine like that. I love the vibe. It's a very nice vibe. <laughs> do -do -do -do. I. So I guess one of them is connected by music and the other one is not. Oh no, the other one's connected by sound. The varsity is connected to the stream. Oh, huh. that's very cool. All right, we're gonna see a uh, a Terry versus um, a Pokemon. Terry tournament. Bogard. I used to mean Terry when he first came out. I really vibe with his style, considering I play a lot of fighting games. Mm -hmm. But then I, I didn't proceed to play him just because I feel like there's a certain skill gap with Terry, and then I felt like I wasn't skilled enough to play him. Yeah. So I now I play that. Pyramithra, <laughs> <laughs> who obviously requires a lot of skill. Obviously. Dude, Brett, like always. With the up, he is on Squirtle. It's just like this. Terry does not know what he. <laughs> How to get back on stage? He has complete stage control. This Squirtle. Boom, boom. <laughs> wow. He's toying with him. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Dude, but so doesn't kill Iverson. the. Doesn't kill the Terry. Yep. Terry gets back on. Such so an like I said. No, nice, nice, nice. One little poof of his cloud, and then he. No. Oh. Oh. Miss it. He he messed up how he messed up his recovery. recovery so. Yeah. Terry does not have a good recovery. That is one of the reasons I stopped playing Terry. Is due to his recovery not being the best. Yeah. Pyromethro's recovery isn't the best either, but like... 
Yeah, I get that. We got the spicy little knight from last week. Oh boy, two. I love, I love this little man's Mac. gameplay. Yeah, because it's so it's so clean, so nice, so pristine. <laughs> pristine. It's so like fine wine. It is but, fine wine. What of all those counters. This is the water gun. Gets the tail whip off. Charges up his water gun again. Just dancing around each other. Nice. Like a... Like at a disco party. <laughs> he got a little... He got the... Um, the footstool. Yeah. Terry is kind of confused here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What are they doing? They're just dancing. They're just having oh, a good time. Oh, oh, the Squirtle's trying to debate him. He's like, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny, dude. The Terry. <laughs> oh oh oh, I'm kicking him. Just wait until like the Terry actually gets like the the go, like. But I feel like this player is very good at just killing you as soon as you get over 100 with his Ivy Soul or Charizard. Oh wow! What an amazing. Very precise. That was that hammer down. So, uh, Switches the Charizard off the bat. Uh, switches back to the Squirtle. Gets the Tail Whoop off. Ooh. Shields it. Gets the Water Gun. Goes off stage. Oh, nice. He's exploiting his weak recovery from Terry. This is very entertaining to watch. Like, because it's so. They're playing non conventionally. They're like dancing around each other like a. It's so funny to watch. Like, it actually is. It's really funny. Ooh, those like bass. Bass? You mean bass? Bass. That's what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, they just keep dancing around each other. It's. So it's a bit funny. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit quirky, if you will. Uh, yeah. Sure. Now this carry, if he- oh. Dude, I love doing carry's input moves. Oh, he got debated. Ah. Uh, uh, Ivysaur? Oh, wow. <laughs> look at him, look at, look at Squirtle. I chose Squirtle over Ivysaur and And that's not Charmander. Even, I don't think that's a shiny version of Squirtle either. They don't have any of the shinies as- Well, they have, they have close to the shinies. I hate how Smash Bros, the only thing that makes me not rate this game a 10 out of 10 is the fact that some of the all um all color schemes aren't the shiny like only what incineroar is the only one that actually has the shiny well no also pikachu i mean I but guess. i mean they had to do for pikachu so and and like is in it one of, in one of the they so in one of each of the pokemon trainers um skin variations they have one that resembles the the shiny for Charizard, Ivysaur, and um, Squirtle. Yeah. But like Greninja, oh Greninja also has the shiny too, huh? Yeah. Okay, I think never so. mind. I guess I'm just. <laughs> they do have shiny Pichu. I know that for a fact because I love spiky-eared Pichu, like spiky-eared yeah. Pichu specifically. He just needs one good grab. I don't know why they're playing around each other like this. Because like <laughs> they just like to dance. This Charizard just needs one good hit and then he kills him, but he's like, he's like messing with him. Oh wow. Wouldn't it be like funny if we just like switched to JV? Anyways, <laughs> in the JV game, we have um, Little Mac going at it with the Rosalina. Nice! Oh wow. Oh wow, I didn't- I, I, And I, back I, we go. No, I can't- Ah, oh, damn it. I can't believe we didn't watch the match of Little Mac. I don't know how he won. That would've been like fun to see, you know. Yeah, over but dancing. it's it's whatever. I mean, that was only the first round, so. Okay, I guess we'll go back to varsity. <sighs> Same old gameplay. It's like, like what are they doing? <laughs> I have no like idea what's going through Brett's mind right now. I know what's going on. I know exactly what he's doing, but it's just like. Oh, is he trying to do what what the other Pokemon no, trainer did? No, he's just trying to toy with him. I'm so confused because they just keep dancing around each other. And it's like, what do you do here? It's like, oh my 
god, dude. What do we do? Every single time you um dodge, you actually become slower. Oh. So you shouldn't be able to like so that's they have that so then you don't spam dodge. And like I, I see that you dodge a lot. So maybe don't always dodge because there was some times you could have actually hit the character. If you didn't dodge, you could have like read them instead and then hit them. Okay. Well, this is probably gonna go on for another minute or so. You see how the Charizard is getting slower and slower? Well, look, look, next time he rolls, look at him rolling, watch. There's gonna be more... Oh. Uh, timing him out. Dude, no way he just did this. Oh my god. Oh wow. What a... What a little troll. Uh, oh wow. I was not expecting that. Um, that Terry was very confused. <laughs> no, but like, how, what do you even say for that? <laughs> you know what I say to that? Let's go back to JV. You know it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, None of them are in. So, the thing is, right, like, that's a fun strategy to do. But specifically, like, for me, since I, since rolling actually slows a character, because the first time you roll, it's like instant, and then the more you do it, your invincibility frames go down, and then you have more lag and input delay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew that, but it was... Not. Yeah, well, that's a thing. The same thing with moves. There's there's a mechanic in the game called scale moves, so if you keep on doing the same move repeatedly, it like makes it weaker. Oh. So there's scale moves and the roll thingy to prevent people from just spamming. Okay. And I was gonna tell you, like... But your gameplay is really good, so I don't feel like... It's just a thing to keep in mind, you know? But yeah. All right. So we're uh, we're, we're just gonna we're gonna go back to varsity. And once JV starts, we'll switch over. Yes. But All yeah. right. Well. Oh, Min Min. Interesting. I love the little icon for JV. It's like a little cat. <laughs> Oh, Whoever wow. owns that switch must have taste. Of course, they must have. All right, we're gonna switch over to JV here, so we can see this uh this little Mac player like in action. Yeah, the same character. So, so we're gonna see. Well, this little Mac is really insane. Like, like genuine. He's like, like the best little Mac ever. Seen. Well, we say zero, but he's a famous YouTuber and like the best Smash player. So yeah. But in real life, this this sort of my condition. Well, the ones that we know. So it's like, like, I never met like a a, a little Mac this good. So it's like, like I'm I'm so astonished how like how good their like their gameplay is. Yeah. How often? I wonder what's going on in Varsity, considering they're both just standing there. This is a new type of gameplay, unfathomable, unseen by man. Look at this. This is this is a uh, this is gameplay that is oh beyond gosh, our comprehension. Anyway. No, no, like, like, okay. I know you want to switch. Oh, that's interesting. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> um. So. Oh, the uh, the Lil Mac got one stock off already, and he still have 119. Uh, never. Mind. So, how do you feel about this Lil Mac, though? We sing his praises, and he's really good. Like he is really like character specific. So once you focus on a specific character for long enough, you become so proficient in them. Mm -hmm. Especially if they match your playstyle. So... I... I'm so stuck in what happened before. <laughs> with their... <laughs> it must have been like an issue or something. So. Uh oh. Anyways. Wow. And this little game, Mac. The little Mac gets it. That's a 2-0 by the little Mac. Congrats. <laughs> we Sorry got some excited that, excited players out there, you know? Very excited. Very, very. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna switch over to varsity here. Oh, no, now they're playing. Okay. Now they're playing. So it must have been an issue of some yeah. sort with the controllers. I, I wonder what the issue was. Just like, just like Mario having a resurgence, Min Min also seems to be coming back. Yeah, like I've been seeing seen that since since last last week, mm -hmm. and the week uh, and the week before that too. Like, yeah, definitely. It's like, been two Min Mins in a row. Min Min is coming back into the radar, just like Pokemon Trainer. Well, Pokemon Trainer has been like he's been in the meadows due to his uniqueness of the three characters. Yeah. So it's like he's good, but like. Just because he has three characters in one means like that means more damage, I guess. No, that means a lot of interesting strategies and being able to switch your playstyle on the press of a button. Literally. Yeah. That's why I play Pyramithra. I can go from a very focused combo based character like Mithra into like a, if I just want to kill the character, switch down to py Pyra, use one smash attack, and they're dead. Mm -hmm. Well, granted, that strategy doesn't work. If you're a piranha plant, but other than that, <laughs> it works every other time. Of course. So. It is a very. It, it's so interesting to see that Min Min is actually like starting to come back. It's actually interesting to see somebody going toe to toe with Brett. Oh, yeah, actually. I just noticed that they're really even. I think it might be too. Brett's playfulness. Yeah. Was, was but like, w when Brett's focused... It's GG's for you. <laughs> Our ace. Basically, yeah. Nice. Ooh. I'm sorry about that, guys. We have a very good, expressive audience with us today. Alright, so, uh, Pokemon Trainer's at two stocks, while the Min Min's at one, one, like, literally one, like, good, He just like, needs to switch to Charizard, and then he kills her. Oh, he could SD with Charizard and be, like, a very nasty combo, like, not even a combo, just a very nasty kill. But then again, Fred's also a very, mm, playful, I Yeah, that's say. nice, so he's the type to do it, you know? He's the type to actually go for it. Okay, let's see it. Yep. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Bro. Good job on the the Pokemon trainer. The varsity team. How many are left for the varsity team? I believe two. Yo, that was that. That was it. Oh, that was Brett's it. Last one. Varsity slaughtered today. They just. Oh wow. I know. All right. They also started 30 minutes earlier than JV. So oh, that's true. That also gave them a big head start. Oh, I forgot there was a Mario Kart 8 stage here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. Oh, my god, my god, I'm picking you up. Hee 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 ha. Grr. Hee 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 ha. That's what, that's, yep, that's what. Alright, so, said. we have our new guest here, Antonio Vargas. Well, would you like to say a few, a few words to the audience? Uh, I have nothing else to say, but uh, Varsity won the whole match with <laughs> Varsity, no like, yeah, so. slaughtered. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. JV. Slaughtered. What, what do you have to say to JV now, though? Have, what do advice you have do you have for the JV encouraging players? words? Um, that's just play well and just have fun. Let's go. Those are the words. Have fun. Have fun. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, speaking we have of Pirate Mithra. Mithra <laughs> ain't that ain't that ain't yep. that funny, huh? This so we're gonna see this uh this 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 focused character as Mithra and switch it to a very keen oh. glow pyro. I kind of want to ditto this pyro. Mithra. <laughs> oh wow, that's what you're focused on, yes. ditto. But um, all right, so so about the ditto, Brad. What are, what are your, <laughs> <laughs> you're calling what what are your credentials here, Brad? I, 
So you really want to send me your send Nintendo me your Switch <laughs> at? Give me your Nintendo Switch number. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll call you. Um. But no, like Pirate Mithra is really strong. Like, like no, oh, no oh, matter who who goes against Pirate Mithra, she's strong regardless. Wow, this Diddy Kong is actually doing really well, considering Diddy Kong is a very specific playstyle. And this player, he switches his character. Oh, whoa, my bad. He switches his player all the time. He goes from Sora one day to Sephiroth to Kazuya to Diddy Kong. It just depends on the day. This man is an all-rounder, and he's switching to Diddy Kong. He's just another one of those surprises. You know? Oh yeah, definitely. And he he's actually beating her. Cause as like a mid-tier character. A lot of a lot. Cause a lot of people underestimate Diddy Kong. A lot of people underestimate half the cast in this That's game, true. Actually. And I do think the game is pretty well balanced. Like, if you're good enough with a character like Zero was with Little Mac, then you can beat anybody, no matter what character they play. Even as the worst character like Ganondorf, you could easily beat somebody with him. Yes. And you know how bad Ganondorf is. I mean, don't throw dirt in Ganondorf's name. Because Ganondorf... He has some strong... Okay, oh, wow. He has some strong smash attacks, okay? That's all. That's all he has. So very this battle could actually go either way. Mm -hmm. I mean, Fiber Mithra can easily like two shot you. If, if, like, not even trying to be funny. Like, Fiber Mithra can two shot you. Like, Fiber Mithra is probably gonna go for something risky. She's not gonna switch back to Mithra due to the fact that Pyra just kills you at like you know crazy percentages like, like 80 yep like that Dang. 40 80 60 like all no, that stuff no no she's not that over yes yeah, she is stop no, lying to no. no. you cannot <laughs> you, you cannot that, defend that, that's why a, I play a beaten horse <laughs> but that look at these graphics that pyramid provides for the audience that <laughs> that flashiness <laughs> flashiness that is why i play this character very, very, very interesting that you would say that Pirate Mithra is a flashy character. She is. I I wouldn't say so. I think she's like. She has some cool combos. Nobody else has more to combat. You see, whoever has switched this is has great taste. <laughs> you know. Yeah, cause it's your switch. Ah, uh, you know it, Matt. I have all the characters unlocked, but. My little minor OCD makes it so that they were organized like this instead of the <laughs> conventional way. <laughs> oh, wow. See, now it's a perfect square. You see how Lucas and Ness aren't echoes? Because they're completely different characters. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, we're gonna see a Sora. Oh, I was just talking about it. It was Sora, actually. And has Kazuya. <laughs> ain't that funny? Matt. Local. Matty boy. Local. <laughs> What? Local? Local Chick-fil-A employee. He makes the best sandwiches, this Matt boy. Yes. Switching to Sora, that's what he just said. Quoted by Matt. Matt. Dunk-tastic by bread. <laughs> Read that. Okay, he says, Grr. Then bread also says, What a great comeback. Then Brett also says, Dunk Tastic. Does Matt have anything to say in. Let's see if Matt has anything to say in return of these Dunk Tastic comments? No. <laughs> quoted, by, quoted by Matt, no. He said Dunk Tastic again. Say something, Matt. Matt, no! <laughs> no, nothing. Dunk Tastic. Dunk Tastic. Um, what was I gonna say? Um,. You know, you know, you know, I show speed. Yeah. <laughs> you know the meme with the dog. It's like no. No, no, no. That's Matt. Matt is a. D <laughs> Matt, Matt is, is Matt is Ted. Talking ben. Ted. Yes. Or Ben. Yeah. Anyways, let's let's focus on the match. All right. So, uh, how do you how do you see this match going? Honestly, it could go either way. Cons considering he almost beat her. Well. He, he had a pretty good combo game with Diddy Kong. And Sora being a 
better character in general due to his insane recovery and like combos. Mm -hmm. I feel like he would do better with this character just based off the fact that it's a more rounded character. Oh yeah. Well, it's also because since it's kind of a bad matchup since Sora is a very floaty character and like Pyra is like all over the place. She's a little bit heavier than Mithril, but that's okay. That is why we love Pyra. <laughs> We need a little meat sometimes, you know? A little meat on your bones. You have no meat on your bones. You're a skeleton. Yeah. Anyways. I think 130 on the... On I the think Pyramithra... Gets the ice off? Tries to get the charge up. Oh, misses. Wow. It is off stage. Pyra is trying to land an attack. Gets one off. Tries to go for that... That's neutral, right? The neutral beat? Oh, wow. She knows her stuff, too. Yeah, this is a, like, a really, like, a Now bird. I really want to play me, bread. <laughs> My, uh, Snapchat is, uh, <laughs> Okay, me. So stop, yeah, stop, 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 stop. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to commentate for Smash. <sighs> this match, the Sora looks like he's on a coin, right? But he mm -hmm. can still come back. This is the underdog story of Sora and how he beat Pyramithril. But Sora, I feel as if the Sora is at a major, like a huge disadvantage because of Pyramithril. You know what Love I mean? Love is also playing. Oh, I didn't even know that. I <laughs> <laughs> said the same thing with different words. I didn't realize. I didn't know that. Sora's at one uh, stock here. Pyramithro has a kind of bad recovery, so if he just gets her off stage with Sora's incredible recovery, he could actually come back from this. Mm -hmm. If he cheeses her enough. That's if he cheeses her enough. But I know that the Pyramithro is going to be very hard to cheese, only oh. because that's exactly why. This because, player is like, really good, actually. Oh, oh wow. Okay, he could definitely, he come, could back definitely come back from this. But 142 on the Sora. If you he play needs smart, to, like, combos. Yeah. Oh. oh! And the Pyramithra takes the second round. Oh wow. Which means the Pyramithra takes. It's okay. So right now, we are 2 2. That is. When Caleb. Or 3 2, I think. Uh, I'll go ask actually. Mr. Mr. Horges. What's the scoring for JV? Mr. Horges. Just Let's give us one moment. Choose your fighter. Mr. Horges. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It depends on Caleb then. All right, so we got King DDD out in the game. He's feeling good today. Does he have anything to say about the dunk? <laughs> <laughs> he, he will. It's okay, Matt. Ooh. Oh, Roy. Oh, wow. Are we seeing the resurgence of Roy, question mark? What is this? I don't think so. I, I think this is a one time thing. This is the third time we've seen Roy today. Today? Yes, there was oh, Antonio fought against Roy. Oh. I was using Roy, and now he's using Roy. So you're. You see, I've been playing Roy since the 3DS times, and now everybody's trying to pick him up. If you don't like my boy at his worst, then you don't deserve him at his best, okay? Get, I mean, get off my boy Roy, you know? He is a tipper character, so I mean. Roy is our boy. Roy is our boy. Roy. Red Roy. So, we're going to see a K roll versus a Roy. Yes. Both have counters. Mm -hmm. Both are very strong. Mm -hmm. both, Bo have both hit like a moving truck. So, it's going to be quite even this game. No. What do you mean, though? No? Roy completely has the advantage to his speed and his combos. But, but K roll. <laughs> no, Roy hits like a moving truck, has a counter, and his combos are insane. Kink the thing Kinka roll has over him is projectiles. The thing Kinka Roll has over him is not the strength, 
Well, it is a little bit of strength. It is the strength. But it's the projectiles. That is how he's going to win this game. With smart gameplay, projectiles, and a good strategy, then he got this in the bag. But if... But I think Roy completely has the advantage in this The game thing play. is with Roy, he can, he can easily get, like, a nice, decent aerial combo going. Mm -hmm. But if, totally he gets too, yeah. if, if he gets too far off stage, he's dead. Yeah, his recovery is not the best, but if you know how to use it, like, well, like I do, you know. Like then, I do. Then you can come back from it pretty easily. Yes, 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 they can. But that's the thing. Can they, though? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to watch and see. We'll have to watch and see. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Now, while we wait, the bands out of this game who do you think will come out on top Roy why Roy just cause he's the better Roy's character our Roy yes is our Roy's our boy Ugh, I hate I'm everybody gonna, I'm gonna go the opposite you're gonna go for King of Roy mm -hmm. okay considering this is the team you know that I fostered like my children you know the JV team I really do want Caleb to win of his smart strategies, and he definitely has. Caleb has a really good chance. Uh, specifically, since I also use Roy, he also has a good chance of knowing how that's to counter the green Roy. Roy. Green versus blue. I think that's something. Very complementary colors. Jesus, I can't speak. So, so, so. I think I really want my teammate to win, but at the same time, I cannot disagree. The you had to go with how Roy's good Roy is. Yeah. So. All right. So, King K. Roo is kind of struggling against the Roy here in the beginning. Get seventy four percent off on the King K. But we need Roy this win. So then, if he wins this, and then I win this, and the JV wins. So I really do actually want this King K. Roo to win. Okay. So, anyways. Um. Jeez. It was a accidental SD by the K rule. Yeah. But. King K. The K rule isn't going to give up here. He's going to fight until the very last battle. While this Roy is also going to fight. With everything he has. The Roy is definitely playing how I play Roy. <laughs> the same aggressiveness and everything. The stab. Down, yup. What? What did I say? Did I say something wrong, sir? No. That's what the Roy is doing. He's fighting ghosts. Oh, nice. nice Gets a nice counter. Ooh. Gets a crown off? Go. Tries to go for the projectile. Almost See, gets what I'm talking about. His Roy does not have any projectiles. Oh, nice. With the clap back. <laughs> <laughs> the the what that, now? K Roll takes that <laughs> take that stop. He did what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're used to, oh, you're dang. used to that move, huh? What? Huh? What move? You know, coming back. I know how to come back. That's right. Yeah, exactly right. Anyways. I think the King J rule has a decent chance, especially with all these mm -hmm. projectiles going straight at Roy. Roy can't do anything against that. He can't reflect it. And oh, nice parry. Oh, wonderful, a, wonderful, a beautiful, air. beautiful. The thing about heavies is that they're a big hitbox for Roy, and that's like exactly what he wants, you know? As a Roy What's player... The worst thing about about K. Rule is that... As a Roy player, I want to fight a King K. Rool. I want to fight a DDD. I want to fight a Ganondorf, you know? Yeah. I don't want to fight a Pichu that I can't even hit. That's what you want as a Roy player, and that's what he has against this... Oh, wow, wow. the nice reads. No, this King K. Rool can... Definitely. Now that he's learning how to, he, this Roy plays... Oh, he... Oh, what? I I <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a weird interaction. That was a weird interaction. But oh man. Oh this, oh oh. Because this, uh, this K rule really has to be like careful because his iron belly is about to break. His little belly. Nice. Nice. It's a parry off. Okay. Okay. So yep. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Any last hit can hit this can go roll. But if you play smart, use this as grab. No. Oh, if he... Okay, if he back throws the Roy, he actually has a decent chance of... Ah, uh, that move. That move is such a killer move. It's, it is. It's so dangerous. It comes out at, like, barely any frames and then just kills you. And you could use it to either kill or combo depending on what direction you hit it. If you hit it up, you can... He goes chun 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 upwards if you do it, do it down. He goes chun 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 and then stabs you. But if you just do it vertically, like he did, then yep. dead. Oh, wow. What do you think of that match? Do you think he still has a... I think he still has a fair chance of winning, definitely. Um, He's switching to King DDD. Which actually, I think is better against this Rory. I think so too. He has a Gordo, which- Oh, no, 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 nope, never mind, never mind. Okay, as Roy, you could actually reflect it without even needing a reflector. Because with Roy, his sword is so strong, if you just hit it, it hits it back like a bat. Same with Min Min. Is it actually? Mm -hmm. So Because if she kicks back- uh, It hits it back? Yeah, she could hit it back. Yeah. So, which is- and that's that's a lot of that's a lot of these characters. So it seems like, at first sight, like what I was saying, he has a projectile advantage. But now I don't know. I think this is more even though. I think this is a lot more even, because if he takes if he takes that first stock, he has advantage ar already. So. Oh wow. If I. <laughs> if. <laughs> if this Roy gets the better of our player, then I have to clutch up the next match so then we can make a tie. So then what would happen after that? A tie? <laughs> yeah. I guess. I guess. He's such a pink Roy. I know somebody who would like this color. A sussy man known as... Anyways. They're playing on Kalos here. Very actually, this is a good map. Uh, a good map for uh, oh, King the unofficial taunt of King Diddy is just doing his little pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. pose. Jojo, Jojo. Oh. Oh. But yeah, no. King Diddy definitely could come back and just beat this war. This war is playing so aggressively. This whole team actually really does play aggressively. Mm -hmm. Like the Pyramidra, this war is like really like. It's gonna be interesting to see me going against them. Well, yeah. Uh, an accidental estate from the King DDD. It's okay, we don't need that stock. Yeah, we don't need that stock. Oh, see? Especially with that. Zero to death, maybe? No, he's gonna counter. No! <laughs> nice! Uh, no, okay. For a second there, I thought he was gonna hit it. That's why he's like, no, he's gonna counter. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I got scared there, and then he, he knew, because this King DDD is like. You know, big brain, so he knew. Like big bird! He was it big makes, brain, big it bird. Makes, it makes sense. He knew what he was gonna do, waited for the counter, and then hit back. This guy. What an amazing play by that King DDD, though. Grab combo? Grab. That's right. Oh! oh <laughs> He's trying to go for it again. <laughs> He's trying to. The Roy is so scared. No idea what to do. Ah! He Twice does in a row. It again. He does it again. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He got this. He got this. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, oh, oh. so close. Is this because Roy is so fast? I love Roy. His speed, his sword play, everything. Oh, 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 dude! Is this a counter game at this point? You know, like if 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 he can't land his counter, he's vulnerable. 100%. Nice. And the King DD is coming back from this. <laughs> Having the. Oh, oh, that was so close. Man. Gets the Gordo. This off? Roy does not want to die. He is really good at um, DIing, actually. Mm. Oh, misses, misses his. Uh, that's that's another thing about Roy. Is that he's a really good character. But his recovery is. But his recovery is. Like. like so oh, bad. he. Oh, man. He okay, went for it's the really tag. even. It's really even here. It's a 1v1. 0 0 percentage. We got this. Hopefully. Oh, gets the gets the rocket hammer off. Gets the grab. Oh, goes tries grab to go combos. for a combo. Starts landing the juggle. Oh, he's trying to oh, go for the, the super armor. He's trying to go for the the little cheese again. <laughs> nice. 
nice grab. Oh, nice, grab. nice grab. Oh, he would've been... Oh. Hmm. If he could, if this he, is tense. If you could really play this well. This is tense, definitely. Oh, oh man. It's alright. Uh, oh. accidental SD. Man. What did that King DDD pop off, though? Yeah. Guess I have to pop off. Alright, we're Don't gonna count see it. On. We're gonna see it. <laughs> it was nice being with you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Alright. That leaves one. Alright. We're gonna see Hyra Mithra, uh -huh. Lucas, Ness, Sora, Sathiroth, and maybe. Maybe we'll see Roy. Roy. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna be commenting by myself now. No, I think Caleb might. Okay. Very, th these matches are so like good though. Like every single match that we've seen today has brought so much potential like out, and let alone the potential is like through the roof in this room. Like, like, and like going going from the Piranha Plant all the way up to this King DDD. Each of these matches have been amazing. Like, have been outstanding. With the uh, King, the the Diddy Kong, yeah. to the to the um, to the Lil Mac, it everything has been great. Everything has been. The thing with that last match was since since Roy is such a light character and so since he's so fast and strong, he he. He can just land combos after combos after combos on on the K rule or the King DVD. But also at the same time, since since King DDD or King K rule is such a heavy a heavy character, they they take so much damage off of the bat and just like go crazy. They're also projectile characters too, so it's like they were pretty even either way. Right. And honestly, if I, I, if I had it inside me, then I would probably want to. Alright. So, we're gonna have a, a little special guest for this last match. Diego is gonna be playing against whoever. My brother Diego and now, we have our special guest. Caleb Sanchez. Yeah, I'm the Caleb version. He's mm. Diego. <laughs> so, I'm how are sitting. you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, my last match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. How, uh, how was that last match? How, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. Honestly, I side beat when I was off stage, and that's just how my, I had my controller. Because uh, I played Joy-Cons without the uh, grip. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's kind of hard to... Um, like do the up input and like hold it up <laughs> and you know and all that but yeah i mean it was a close it was it was a good fight either way like regardless you know. i think you did really well so <laughs> yeah i try I, yeah i definitely tried to switch it up because he was pairing all my well he was trying to parry all my attacks and i just wanted to you know use gordo so that he couldn't and also those those fake outs were crazy <laughs> oh yeah I, I didn't believe I would get it, but I. I well, you got around. it. Yeah. You got I, yeah, it. Yeah, I turned around and I didn't expect him to like actually parry when when a King DDD is charging at you. you know? And you did that but twice. Yeah. I <laughs> was I was like, <laughs> twice oh my god, he landed it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we're gonna have Diego Diego Sanchez, my brother, playing Lucas up here. So, this should be an exciting match. Uh, he plays the best Lucas. <laughs> he is. He's a very strong Lucas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 I know how strong his Lucas is, and it's annoying, but it's very <laughs> strong and it's very good. So yeah, we do our little uh, one v ones, you know. What? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> we have some shouting from uh, the player. From know. the from the player. Yeah. yeah, the player himself. Caleb Sanchez is coming. Diego's coming. You want to say something? Coming. 
Would you like to say something to the audience? Smash forever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looks like Varsity's playing their game. Or is it just mm, a friendly they're match? Just, they're just... They're just smashing. This is a friendly match. A friendly match. Smash yeah. Alright. <laughs> For this player, he 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 needs the music. It helps him yeah. a lot. He needs a <laughs> he needs to pick the music that renaissance. For me, resonates it's, with him. It's them. different, you know. Yeah. Uh. Um. You know. Uh. Oh well. Corin. Corin. We don't see Corins. Just like last week, we don't see Minmins. I have a lot of sword fighters. I see. I just bought this character yesterday. <laughs> Seems like um. A lot of like a lot of the non-meta characters are coming out. Yeah, well, I'm I'm happy about that. I'm happy to mm -hmm. see the, yeah. the 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 old people that nobody plays. Mm. No, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Which is very like it's very awesome that like so many like it's like so many like Ooh, characters in this game have been under underestimated for a while and now seeing like a lot of these characters like come out and like yeah. actually like show like what they're made of. It's 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 nice. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. People are rising the ranks because they don't know the matchup for uh, like, for example, like Olimar. Like, <laughs> like who plays Olimar? Name one time you played against Olimar. Like, uh, to be honest. Like, uh, but yeah. I'm very like I'm very happy about like how it is though. Which you know, especially with the coin, mm -hmm. like. How often do you see a corn in like competitive matches? I only get corn when I go randoms. <laughs> That's Ooh. about the only time I play her for them. That's fair. And even at that time, you would just be spinning like side B, yeah. which <laughs> it's, it's all right. Side B or neutral B. Mm, trying to get that shield break. Get to dodge off. Yeah. Honestly, if he can um. Tries to get that B roll, but. If he can read the uh, Corrin laser plasma ball thing, you can hit it back. Ooh, big game. I mean, or you can just outright absorb. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like oh! Oh, oh my god, gets the ice off. He said, "Cool it." <laughs> he said, "Speed it, chump." Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, de definitely. Um, especially for my match. Um, if you go up against. Uh, a heavy versus a lightweight oh, character yeah. that has multi-hit attack, you're done for practically. And the Super Armor um, can only save you for so much. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> that's what I was like. I was like, again, yeah, I don't again think with the yeah, yeah, the eyes. He's he's practicing. He he practices that. So the difference between Lucas and Ness is mm -hmm. ice and PK pulse. What? Yeah, I PK bet. pulse. Not only that, um, they have different PK fires. Yeah. Ness's Ness's goes uh, diagonal on the ground. And also, it hits more yeah. while Lucas does more knockdown. Yeah, it's like a shuriken, like a chic shuriken, which just throws it. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. Nice up charge by the Lucas. Gets the second stock the off. Lucas. The Lucas. The Lucas. One twenty-three on the Lucas. We're gonna see if the corn. Uh, we'll take the second stock. Honestly, I'm gonna root for the underdog here. <laughs> what? Why is that? Uh, you know, anything can happen in Smash Bros. You can you can make it back from that. Your I mean, yeah, you're stock. you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're at 100. Your opponent's at three stocks. You, you can still make it oh, back. Oh dang! <laughs> I fell down. He doesn't need that stock. <laughs> he didn't need it anyways. But yeah, that just even down from there. Especially, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that that move, that move. How yeah. you charge that 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 side smash is so because she has two swords, right? Yeah. So it's like with her one, it's a chainsaw sword. So she just like she builds up damage before like poking. Her. Yeah. Well, the thing she actually pokes into the ground isn't a sword; it's her hand. If what? You look, yeah. If you look closely enough, uh, if you pause the game and you use the move, yeah, it's actually her hand. You can see outlines. Of her fingers. Be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> makes, a oh. makes a swift recovery. Trying to get a grab back there, I see. 
It tries to get that Ooh. lightning off. Still misses yeah, it. Yeah, especially if you accidentally let go of shield, it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if Lucas or Nast runs into you, it's over. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Fakes him out with the ice and then hits him with the aerial. That That's is so nice. That was so nice by that Lucas. <laughs> What a- it's so simple, yet it's so effective. That's a true combo right there. Mm -hmm. That's what I call making it up on the spot. <laughs> That's as true as it comes, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what would you call that? What would you call that move? Um... Aerial Ice Fake Out. Oh, okay, okay. Because <laughs> you fake him off the ice and then it's like... You know, you say Ariel first, so that sounds cool. Coolier? Coolier? Yeah, coolier. coolier. I'm making new words. What's up? <laughs> it's okay. Cool. <laughs> 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 Look at this guy. No, ah! Ah! Five languages. But, Lucas Lucas did, did work, did his job, got it done. <laughs> The Quarren wasn't giving up though. Like Final Destination, my favorite map. Is it though? Mm -hmm. It's my favorite map because it's, it's my best. Map. It's my best map. For Prana Plant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. You got a problem with that, sir? I do. <laughs> I don't. I think. I think he's just mm, a little mad, but it's alright. Yeah, a little mad. Going pirate mythical. This is this is what he was saying earlier that he plays a very combo heavy my mythra. They look the same, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> what the color scheme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, cause it is the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? We're, we're getting pink coins. We're getting the pinks and the purple. That's not purple, that's navy blue. Oh yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day today, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Going over to your house? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> this match <laughs> is gonna get red hot. Oh, what a wallow. Yeah. Wallow. Like, have you ever considered that, like, Pyra and Mithra are just the same sword? <laughs> Yeah, they both are uh, in the lower of fight or not. Xenoblade Chronicles, actually. I haven't um, played Xenoblade either, so. Yeah, although Mithra is kind of a spoiler because it's mostly just pirate in the sword. But, um, some things. But that one time, yeah. the one time that. that yeah, the one time the, 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 <laughs> the guys are in trouble, then uh, Mithra shows up and causes wreaks happen. But, anyways, back to him. <laughs> Uh, gets yeah. Gets the dragon. Is it a dragon? Oh wait, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, she is. Yeah, she a turns into a dragon and slams on the ground with water. Oh. Uh, that, that move. Head. Yeah, that move always sits underneath the ground, mm -hmm. which is so stupid. But you know, it is very effective. Oh, nice Ooh, shield break shield. by the. Yeah, I wonder what he will do. <laughs> that was A4, it's Nash and gets the stuff though. Yeah. They are even right now, actually. Uh, they're going two for even, two. Even if, uh, even if he loses this one, it's still one more. Uses, uses the recovery just to, like, just to dodge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> gets the grab off, gets the back throw, tries to go for the. I, he always does that move too, which is it's so it's so insanely good. Yeah. It is so insanely good because it hits. It also hits through stage. I think uh, our pirate Mithra need to watch out for the corn's counters. Yeah, they want to stay alive. Especially since that does yeah. half. It does half its shield. Yeah. He clearly tells you that it hits for a lot, and you don't want to be hit by it. That's the fact that it does hit for a lot, so... Yeah. Oh, gets the... gets the... the... Uh, Nair. 
I was, I was, I was confused. There's so many terms in Smash Bros. That's why I love it. Yeah, uh, the Piper Mithra accident. I didn't see that. Uh, gets a smash. It gets a smash. Uh, the up smash. Oh. He's gonna try to go for the zero. We'll just There's the counter. <laughs> At least he learned from it and like dodged it. Yeah. One one good hit from Pyro Metro. He's gonna take that stock. Yeah. Yep. There, just like yep, that. There it is. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, they're even. But uh. <coughs> the Metro, I'm the, sorry. The Metro has just four. Uh, four. Never mind. Not anymore. Oh. Ah. They're at a steel mate. <laughs> They're just standing around waiting for each other to attack. Um, this kind of reminds me of the match earlier with uh, Varsity. Really? Um, where they were just like kind of dancing. <laughs> so, hundred, hundred on the the myth. Tries to go for a combo. You forgot she could do that. So which is the pyro here? Yeah. Trying to get that big gamer dead. Ooh! Alright. One more one more hit. One more hit. Barely oh. dodges the counter. Oh. No! Oh, wow. That's the way the cookie crumbles. He can take it back in match three. Don't worry about it. It's one one? Yeah, it's one one. You had her. I had her, but okay, I asked you to the top. Choose your fighter! Choose your fighter! Yes. 